Hello, my name is Brian. In this video, we're going to see how you can create a Ugandan PayPal account. Okay. You go to paypal.com. All right. You can just search it or you can, you know, just type paypal.com. Uh, PayPal website will open. All right. Now, this is a basic account that you can use to sign up. Then, uh, <clears throat> Pay for some stuff online so we're going to take it for okay from the from the steps of creating an account to adding a card and you know how you go about everything so uh there is login and sign up you click on sign up because you don't have an account all right so when you click on sign up put in your line okay put in your number so after putting your number next they'll send you a code retrieve the code Okay, so that's my code. Okay, a blade. Let me rescind another one. This doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, four nine, uh, two five six six. Okay. So I need to create a password. I'm going to create. <clears throat> Something like that, okay. Uh, let me make sure my password is right. Make sure you combine some small characters, special character, uh, you know, capture some numbers. So let me do next. Okay. Um. No, you can save the password. If it's your computer. If it's not a computer, just set on self. From Uganda, uh, my name is uh, John. Uh, date of birth, I'm going to put uh, stuff like that, okay? Make sure you use the right details as they appear in your ID, okay? Then I'm going to say next, All right? So address, um, Minamunyonyo, All right, Sarama Road, Nyonyo Road. Address number two, I think, let me leave it out. Okay, let me click on agree, agree and create. Okay, and then that's it. Uh, you just need like one minute actually to create a PayPal account, and that is it. Then you're in what next? Uh, you can shop with PayPal. You can send money with PayPal, but you can't do all this if you don't have kind of uh, uh, a card in your PayPal, okay? So you can, you can say add card to use later if you don't have a card, okay? But in a Ugandan PayPal account, having no card will actually, you need a card because most cases you're going to pay, all right? So we're going to add a card, but if you don't have a card, you can say add, add card to use later, okay? So let me first, okay, use this because you can always put the card later anytime that you want. So when you say later to come here, okay? Put your card details. Still, I can say not now. All right. Okay, so your account's ready to use. Shop, um, send money and more with PayPal. Um, okay, discover exclusive offers. Let me just go to my account, right? Okay, uh, my Ugandan PayPal account looks like this. It's simple. On the menu, you have home, send, wallet, activity, and send. Now, such an account on the menu, if you don't say, if you don't see send and receive, it means you can't get paid. Okay. Uh, I repeat this like if your menu, you have like home, send, wallet, activities, help, and you don't have anything like send and receive, it means your account can't receive, it can only send payments. About accounts which can receive, Please watch this video up to the end and I'll discuss about how that can be done, okay?
Now, even if you log in and your PayPal is telling you like you can pay someone or get paid, but get paid is not possible, okay? Because uh, Ugandan accounts have a restriction. So if, even if I click, let me try to click on request money. <clears throat> Uh, if I click on request money, uh, nothing big may happen. Let me give it some time. Okay. So most people are confused uh, when it comes to creating these PayPal accounts in Uganda. In Uganda, you uh, most accounts can send, like you can link your card there, then you send payments, but you can't receive. To get a, a receiving account, you may have to set it up as a virtual PayPal account. The virtual PayPal account, you just set it up using a supported country, okay? Uh, if you don't know how that can be done, you can uh, come to our office or give me a call or send me a, a comment. I'll try to reach up with you. Um, and see, because for the, for the account which you can receive, you need to find a supported country and you need to find how you can yeah, not only just the country because US okay can receive and UK and all other countries, but you have to see how you're going to do the documents, how you're going to explain you being in Uganda and how you're going to use the USA account. Okay, so so that's where the tricky part is. So it's not all about creating an account which you can receive, but you have to be in a position to explain or why not you call it a document. So as a document to the caller. So when you create a request money, you may not really get anything because that option is not active. When you click on uh, send payments, uh, when you send payments, you see this section is active, okay? You can even, uh, when you're paying someone, you can just put the names of someone you want to pay, you know? Uh, Usually on paper, you pay for an email. So usually the person comes there, you can select him up, uh, you know, so something like that. So, but account, we don't have the any, any payment. So, sorry, any card. So before you send someone, you have to add a card. And uh, of course you can't pay if you don't have a card, okay? Make sure you don't have any notifications on your, PayPal, make sure you kind of take time to, to, to have no notification in your account, okay? In my notification, you can't actually, you can't send before you confirm your email address. So you have to take time to confirm your email address. Uh, this can be ignored, okay? Okay, you can link your card, it's fine. So uh, confirm your email address. So, I need, to, I need to confirm my email address. But basically, that is, so if you have a new address, you have to go and uh, you kind of find the link that they will send you and uh, you verify that account. So before you send, you have to verify your email address and also you have to link a card. Now, when you click on link a card, uh, you can use any, uh, most of the banks in Uganda support cards, okay? But there's some scenarios, some, Sometimes your card may fail to work. So what we do in our YouTube, we're going to go to our YouTube. Uh, we have a video which we discussed about. Uh, when you come here and you try to add your card, your debit card, uh, card type, usually if you put your card number, the, the type will come. Expir expiry security code. Okay, when you put these details and you link your card and it fails, what you do is you can use a virtual uh, virtual bank card, okay? These virtual bank cards are generated by using apps and these apps work with, uh, these apps work with, uh, with uh, mobile, mobile money, okay? So let, let, me, let me show you the video. When you go to our YouTube, uh, the video that you have to, look at okay when you go to our youtube you have to go to the videos then there's a video which i made for the card it's called how to create virtual card okay this card how to create virtual card for paypal so in this video i use the cheaper cash so if your bank 
fails, when you click, when you link your card, your bank card and fails, you try to check out this video and these cards are done by Cheaper Cash, okay? Cheaper Cash is an app. You just download it on, uh, just find it in your, in your app store, in your play store, then you generate it. I explain everything in, uh, in the video, okay? I explain everything in the video. I show you how you download the app, how to install the app, how to register for the card, how to credit it, and how it links with your mobile money. Everything is explained in this video. So you can use that card to verify this PayPal or to put it in your PayPal, and then you pay with this account. When you pay, money is deducted from that card, okay? So this is, this is cheaper cash. You get time and uh, you kind of get their cards, okay? This is a cheaper cash card. Or you can use EverSend card. So you just have to credit your PayPal. Sorry, you just have to credit your mobile money. Then money which is on your mobile money, you go to the app, then you credit to your card. So when it's money is on your card, it means it's in, it's in your PayPal account, okay? So that is it. Let me close this. Uh, so that is how you create your PayPal account. Okay, <clears throat> you try to make sure you verify your, <clears throat> your email address. I think I've used a non-existing email address, but make sure you use right details, okay? So you have to verify that card, then that is it, you have a PayPal account now. <clears throat> now, for those who want to be receiving, your PayPal account has to be able to have, send, and receive, okay? It has to be send and receive. Okay, if it doesn't have receive here, it means it can't receive. So you just instead have to create an account using virtual. You have to create it as a virtual account, okay? So you can leave me in the comments so you can give me a card about that. Sorry, I don't have a video about virtual cards because uh, you have to do some documents online and uh, uh, and may not, it may be against uh, YouTube uh, rights to kind of expose all those details. So that's why we don't have a video for, for virtual paper, but you can give me a call, we can talk and uh, we'll see how we can do it, okay? So this is how you create a paper for Uganda. Thank you, all right.